now that you finally got Fred Singato, what are you feeling? What's the excitement like? Um, I guess, like, I guess this is the big one, you know, um, right, right there, and I guess the next fight should be the title fight. You know, um, I heard they're making big money on on those type of fights, so I guess that's who I want to be. It's a crazy feeling, man, because, you know, like, a few years ago, I was locked up in prison, thinking about what the hell I'm going to be doing with my life when I get out, and now I'm one of the top fighters in the world, fighting on the biggest stage in the world, and, and doing great things, you know, taking care of my family and stuff like that, and accomplish a lot of things that a lot of people say I couldn't do, so it feels real good, man. What, did you see this uh, Greg Hardy news, that Greg Hardy's going to be part of the Contender Series, and... Who knows what happens? Maybe he gets a UFC contract as a heavyweight. Uh, you know, he could be someone you face down the line. What do you think about Greg Hardy? Yeah, he's a wife beater. Yeah, I don't like to get in there with him. I like knocking his wife beaters up. Would you want to fight Greg Hardy? Yeah, I'll fight Greg Hardy. What, yeah. would, a, what would a fight versus Greg Hardy look like? <laughs> it was be like vice versa, him beating on a woman. A woman. I'll be beating him like he's a woman. I grew up watching my mom and stepdad fight just about every single damn day, fist fighting every day for stupid stuff, you know. And so, you know, I don't tolerate stuff like that at all. We're live. Um, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that was Derek the Black Beast Lewis. Um, he was just giving us a quick rundown of uh, major events in his life and how he doesn't like woman beaters. Um, this is all in reference to Greg Hardy signing up for the Contender Challenge, Dana White's Contender Challenge. And um, needless to say, most pro fighters aren't happy about this. Uh, I think it's because it gives the UFC a bad look especially from public standpoint why do i say that um greg hardy was released from the nfl um i forget which team he played for um but um he was released pending um domestic violence charges against him issued by his uh, girlfriend or wife i think um and um, due to the fact that she didn't cooperate with prosecutors, the charges were dropped. But the evidence was clear. And apparently there's video footage of him scrapping with his um, former partner. And um, Brendan Shaw was speaking on this last week on Below the Belt. He said it's a, it's, a, it's a bad look for the UFC. I think it's a bad look up until he faces somebody who can really fight. You're Derek Lewis, you know, you're Francis Ngannou, Kane Velasquez, those guys. And I think that, um, let's, let's, for argument's sake, let's say that, um, Greg Hardy, Greg Hardy wins a contender series and gets a UFC contract, starts fighting. First fight in the UFC heavyweight division, Kane Velasquez. That would turn this whole scenario on its head, put UFC as the put UFC up there as the biggest cosign for female power. You know, for this Me Too movement, for the Times Up movement. I think in strategy this could be used to make the UFC look very good, but in present day moment, it doesn't look good, man. This is a really terrible look for the UFC. Um, it's it's really bad because um the UFC's female um the the, the female fighters the roster's growing on that side, and I think that's one of the biggest parts of their business, right? If female fans of the UFC see this, how will they react? Um. You know, I mean, it's just a terrible look for now. Just saying Dana could turn this around real quick. But let me know what you guys think. 
like, comment, subscribe, and I am out.